might have need of this. If only Amy had told me, I could have helped her. Well, like Belle said, you were petrified that Kane might find out, and with good reason, it seems. Who the hell does he think he is? Eh? Intimidating her like that. It's Kane. Up and dressed, he's alone to himself. Well, he's gone way too far this time. Yeah, but squaring up to him ain't gonna help anyone. What, let him get away with it? You said yourself he's out of control. I'm not saying it doesn't stick in my craw, but Amy and the baby are what's important. Kane can wait. Can't he? Whoa. Not some things. That was shot. Shot at him. Understandable under the circumstances. It's bad enough giving birth with help. But on your own, in the middle of nowhere. What kind of a start to being a mam is that? You must try not to upset yourself. This has gone way beyond upset. I let her down. Well, we both did. Too wrapped up in my own problems to see what was under my nose. And we'll do whatever we can to make it up to her. I'll do a damn sight more than that. The police uh, need to interview her when she's well enough. Why? She's not a criminal. I know, but uh, abandoning a baby is still an offence. She thought it was dead. What else was she supposed to do? They were very understanding. I'm sure it's just a formality. Well, they'll have to interview me at the same time, because I am not letting her out of my sight ever again. From now on, we're joined at the hip. How's the baby? Nothing wrong, is there? Oh, no. Well, when can we see him, then? I'm afraid you can't. Why Why not? We're the nearest thing to grandparents he's got. I'm sorry, but Amy will have to give her consent first. Oh, now, I know it's a bit early, but these two are wondering whether we could put these up. Yeah, why not? Place could do a brightening up. Not the only thing by the looks of it. Give us a hand if you like. To be honest, I'm, I'm not in the mood, Bob. OK. Right. Who would like to open their advent calendar? Me. Yeah? Right then, go and have a look for number... Mm, five. Five it is. Go on then. Hey, no opening number six. <laughs> oh, so excited. I think I'm going to burst before Christmas. I blame Viv. She always went a bit over the top with the decorations. Don't worry, by the way. I I'll make sure we keep them tasteful. Hello, Earth to Hazel. Oh, sorry, Bob. Off miles away. Can't stop thinking about that baby. Poor little mate wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. When I saw him in there, I thought he was... I know. So cold. His little lips were all blue, just, just like... And then when he moved, I, you know, I was so happy. And, and then suddenly part of me thought, you know, what if he's for me? What have I got to keep him? <laughs> Must be cracking up in me old AJ. I'd get used to it if I were you. Yeah, I, I still think about Dawn all the time. It never goes away. And you, you know what? I, I, I wouldn't want it to. Oh, do you, every year I put these neatly back in the box and it's like somebody's jumped in and deliberately tangled them up again and I bet they don't work. Well, why don't I plug them in and see? Well, either that or we bin them and make do. No, I can't do that. Samson loves him. You gonna help, Belle? Hey. There, told you. Uh, I'll check bulbs. Still no word from Amy. Look, I know you think that you've let her down, love, but you did the right thing telling us. Doesn't stop Dad being mad with me. He's not mad with your love. 
He just wishes he could have helped Amy himself, that's all. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. I told you it was a bulb. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to untangle them now. I was secretly hoping they were past it. <laughs> I'll help if you like. Hey, didn't you miss school? Well, I've told her she could have the day off. You're not the only one worrying all night, you know. Oh, well, as she's here, she can answer a few more questions about that baby. Hospital wouldn't tell me much, just at the baby's stable. Yeah, well, it could be anyone, I suppose. A 250, please. Yeah, what's this? Cheers. You mean you haven't heard? Well, obviously not. Hazel found an abandoned baby yesterday. Yeah. Glad we got on Leo again. <laughs> it's not funny. Poor little thing's nearly left for dead. Well, whose is it? Well, this is it. Nobody knows. Well, it's got to be someone from outside the village. Let's be honest. If anyone was pregnant around here, we'd all know about it. Right. Let's get back. John's not exactly in a good mood today. Yeah, nice one, Alex. Thanks for the chat. Really enjoyed it. What? I'll see you later. Don't work too hard. Well, I would, except Ballinary can't even there. Bonus. If there's anything I can do, just say the word. Don't worry about the B&B. &B. I'll keep an eye on it. Give my love to Amy. Was that Val? Where are they? They've got guests booked in. Least of their worries at the moment. What are you on about? I can't believe I'm saying this. You know, the baby that Hazel found. It's Amy's. God. But she told me she had an abortion. You knew about this? You're hurting her. I'm OK. Her stomach is bound to feel a little tender. Are you going to wait outside? Yeah, uh, maybe, uh, Maybe we should uh, go and have a drink, eh? You do what you like. I'm not going anywhere. Well, well I'm going to have one myself. So how is she? Very lucky in the circumstances. You're fine to go home. Oh, time this place is doing me head in. Shh. They're supposed to scream like that all the time. I'd get used to it if I were you. So what about the baby? When can he come home? Not for a few weeks, I'd say. Until his body weight comes up and he's able to maintain his own body temperature. But he's going to be OK. I don't see any reason why not. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> How about we we'll go and see him before you leave? Haven't you already done that? No. Needed your permission, apparently. I knew you wouldn't mind. Thought you were at work. Yes, and now I'm back. So? All right, I was just trying to be friendly, that's all. Hi. So you can ask me if I've seen Hannah? Sorry, I've got my other mates to worry about. Why? What's happened? Moira. I, uh, I got these cut while I was out. They can come and go as you please. You get around, don't you? Thanks, uh, but it's only temporary. Stay as long as you like. I really don't mind. I bet Amy were dead scared. You'd have to be to leave a baby like that. Who knows what we're going through then? She should have told someone instead of just that bell. If only it was as simple as that, Sam. What's he looking at? Leave it, Dad. It's not worth it. Must make you proud, eh? Having a home wrecking get for a son. You what? You heard. Dad. It's not our fault what Kane does. What, so you're just washing your hands of it, are you? Copping out more like. For what it's worth, I'm not proud of what he's done to your family. That's big of you. The last thing I want is any more trouble. Trouble? I've not even started yet. Oh, he's so tiny. Look. How can I have you two hogging him? Oh, I can't help it, can I? He's just perfect. I'll uh, get out of the way. You can move closer. I can see him from here. Yeah, but he can't see you. That's probably a good thing. Oh, you're his mummy. He needs to know you're nearby. Yeah, that'll make him feel loads better. Not only some stupid mistake. He may not have had the best start in life, but we can make up for it now. How? I can barely look after myself. I'm a mind a baby. Oh, you're bound to feel scared after what you've been through. But you're not on your own now. You don't get it, do you? I 
First thing we need is a name for him. Something to show he's a real little fighter, just like his mummy. <laughs> How about... Will you just shut up? I'm not giving him a name. OK, because I'm not keeping him. What I'm saying is you've got to consider your options. What do you think I've been doing for the last few months? Things are different now. So you keep saying that. Oh, now is not the time to discuss it. Just come out of hospital. <laughs> you look a bit better than last time I saw you. Yeah, mainly thanks to you. Haven't you got something to say to David? I think Amy can speak for herself, don't you? Well, ten minutes maximum, then we've got some serious talking to do. Wow. She's not taking any prisoners, is she? Sorry. It's all right. You're in a right state. It's okay. I don't blame you. I brought this on yourself. <laughs> so we still mates then? Of course we are. Where else am I going to go when I'm in trouble? Uh, <laughs> a few months more notice might be better next time. There won't be a next time. <laughs> the hospital told me you'd come home. How are you feeling? Great, yeah, I'm thinking of going clubbing later. Any chance of a chat first? In private? I thought you'd never ask. I mean, I know Amy can be hard-faced at times, but I can't believe she just dumped a baby like that. Hazel said she thought he were dead when she found it. Oh, poor kid. Is that true? What well, do I look like, a doctor? Well, you were there, weren't you? You saw what happened. Can't a bloke have a quiet pint in peace without being interrogated? Something. Hi. The girls not with you? Uh, no, nah, they're helping me dad out. I'll get them in, shall I? Cheers. Listen, thanks for giving me a lift last night. So, Dan, let you stay then? Uh, no, I'm, I'm staying at Marlon's. Before you say anything, he's a mate. And let's face it, I didn't exactly have much choice, did I? Well, I'm sorry, Mum. You had the victim and all this, yeah. No, I don't. I didn't mean it. You okay? To be honest, no. I just at once talked to her. Ah, but the uh, social worker's here. Now is not the time. Well, will you get her to text me then? Yes. Ah. Please, if you don't mind. <sighs> Victoria. Oh, great, so she knows now as well. The last thing I wanted was the whole village knowing it was mine. Look, I appreciate how confusing this is for you. You've been through a terrible ordeal. I do know I was there. We don't want to force you into making any decisions you may regret. I know what I want. It's all I've thought about for months. But that's when you thought you were on your own. You're not now. You can't force us. Nobody's trying to force you. It doesn't look like that from where I'm sitting. But we at least have to discuss all of the options. Do I want to keep the baby? Uh, no. Do I want it adopted? Uh, yeah. There. Discussion over. So that's it? We have to respect Amy's wishes, even when she's making a mistake. We're in this mess because Amy didn't feel she could talk to us. If we force this on her now, then what? Look, there's a six-week cooling-off period before she has to make a final decision. In my experience, a lot of girls change their mind in that time. And what if she doesn't? Then the baby will be taken into care. Well, be careful you give the evils to. Might get yourself in bother one day. Is that what you said to Amy? <sighs> you what? She told me how horrible you were. Oh, did she now? Well, she's a born liar. Can't believe a word that comes out of her mouth. So, it's not your baby, then? What? Don't get smart with me, Belle. Oh, what? Well, you threatened me as well. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, well, you should be, and so should your new bezzy mate. Oh, leave her alone. She's the one who's been lying to me. And had your baby. Well, There's nothing to do with me. You keep your mouth shut. Too late. I told Mum and Dad everything. 
What, do you think that's going to make a difference, do you? You think you're all grown up, don't you? Well, you're nothing but a stupid little kid. Where are you going? Just to get a signal outside, text Victoria. Lydia Garnisher. She said she'd ring tomorrow. It won't make any difference. I don't understand how she can be so cold-hearted about her own child. Maybe that's not how she sees it. Well, then it's up to us to show her otherwise. You are with me on this. <laughs> it's all happened so fast. My brain hasn't had a chance to catch up. Oh, let me put you straight. Amy has had a baby. Don't patronise me. I don't act like such an idiot. Look, do you really think you could cope with a baby? Because that's how it would be, you know. Us doing most of the work while Amy does what Amy does best. Like you said, she is in this mess because we let her down, which means we also let that poor defenceless baby down. So I'd say yes, we'll cope, whether we like it or not. And Amy, you heard what she said? She has no intention of keeping it. Yeah, and I know it's her decision to make, but as far as I'm concerned, I will do everything I can to make her change her mind. <laughs> You're home, then? Yes. And I've had enough lectures for one day, so don't bother. Well, maybe that's because people are concerned about you. I can look after myself. Is that right? Well, you've done a grand job so far. Why didn't you come to me? I just couldn't look here. Because it's Cairns. Don't try and deny it. Bell's told us. Did you really think you could keep it quiet? Well, I'm getting it adopted, so it doesn't matter now, anyway. Is that because you're scared of what Kay might do? Well, do you blame us? Look, I know all this must have put the fear of God into you. But it's it's in the open now. And I won't let Kane hurt you again. I can't take that chance. It's not just me I have to worry about. It's this baby's family. Look, me and Lisa can help. Hey? Don't you go doing something you regret. I know you mean well, Zach, but I just can't. Come on, Amy. You've been out long enough. What's going on? Tell her before someone else does. I think your mum and dad will get back together. After what she did, can't see me dad forgiving her. See, I always thought they were sound as well. Yeah, me too. It's okay. You no, know, someone needs to teach him a lesson. You? Why not? Well, no offence, mate, but he'd kill you. Yeah, no, if he doesn't see me coming, he won't. There he is. And what's up with your face? You mean, apart from your best friend having a baby and dumping it? You were? You heard. So you were right. It was Amy's. It's not funny. She was on her own. Yeah, but you think it might be Kane's? Does it matter? I should have been with her. Yeah, all right. No need to bite me head off. So, that's the reason why you kept it a secret? I didn't know what else to do. He would kill me if he found out. Please don't hate us. Hey! You've been used and threatened and God knows what else. Why would we hate you? Now, Cain, on the other hand, is an entirely different matter. Please, he doesn't have to find out. How many people already know? It's only a matter of time. This is why I have to get the baby adopted or he will make our lives hell. Well, he'd have to get through us first. This is Cain we're talking about. If you don't want him to have anything to do with the baby, he won't. Not if he knows what's good for him. You mean you'd actually still want me to keep it? Of course we want you to keep it. We will do whatever you want. It doesn't matter what's happened to get us to this point. We are here for you and the baby. Oh, 
took your time. Ah. You were expecting me then. It's like a bell went crying to Daddy. <laughs> She's got nothing to do with that. Well, she should keep her nose out, shouldn't she? I'm telling you. You're in enough bother as it is. Oh, you think? Well, it might be my kid, but it has nothing to do with me. Why is that? Because you tried to force Amy to get rid of it? I gave her the chance to do the right thing, but she took the money and ripped me off. Now, what does that tell you about her? Have you got no conscience at all? She could have died having your son. Yeah. Done us all a favour. Come on, then. Cos you know what's going to happen, don't you, old man? Well, come on, I'm waiting. Zach, what's going on? Leave it, Lisa. I'm going to teach him a lesson. We've talked about this. What good will it do? Yeah, that's all you can do these days, isn't it? Talk. I'll be watching you, boy. Yeah? Join the club. Hey, when you see Amy, look forward to catching up with her. Nice to talk, Dad. You're no son of mine! This time last year, I was at rock bottom. I never would have thought I would be this happy. It's insane. But are the others quite so chuffed? I'm a celebrity coming out. Catches up with them tonight at 9. Next, it's Coronation Street.